I'm not even angry at this point. I'm just laughing at how weak, stupid, and pathetic the corporation is. How easy it is for them to bend the knee. You know, sometimes I wish I was woke. Sometimes I wish I was into social justice to see these mega corporations bend the knee in front of me. That would actually make me feel like a man. But unfortunately, I'm not like that. So every now and then I just look at the sheer stupidity. And I'm thinking, you know, those woke people, they're probably laughing as well. Like they probably can't believe that they actually managed to accomplish to get a company to do something so stupid. But they did. So, you know, they deserve my praise. Congratulations. You guys are master manipulators. You know how to bend people to your will. You know how to inflict your own will upon other people. You are the strong. You deserve to rule this society. You deserve to rule gaming because you are definitely powerful people who understand how the game is played. So apparently in Dead by Daylight, which is a horror game that's played in co-op, you have the ability to play as the killer. And the killer, in this case Leatherface, he can wear the survivor's face uh, after he kills them. Now, some of the survivors happen to be black. And a woke person realized that this is a great opportunity to take the piss on this weak company. And he said, well, is it this like blackface? Is it this like Justin Trudeau? Is it this like the Canadian French Prime Minister? Isn't it exactly like that? Isn't it exactly like when Hollywood was mocking black people? Isn't that what you're doing? And the company, like a dog that is being wounded, went pow, 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 pow. So they caved. And you know what? I hope woke people find more problematic things into their game because they are weak. If you are a progressive activist, this is a company you can get to do your bidding. If, if you notice anything wrong with the game, anything problematic, anything involving racism, anything, anything, don't hesitate to contact them because they will do whatever you ask them to. So apparently this announcement was done over an official development update. So the developers actually took time away from developing the game not only just to make this change, but to also address it to the people and how sorry and weak and pathetic they are. Behavior Inter uh, Interactive has condemned anyone exploiting the cannibal's ability to wear survivor masks as blackface. You see, if you're a woke activist, not only did you manage to bend a corporation in front of you and ask you for forgiveness, but it also bullies the players who are the clients in this scenario that they're also telling people look you're not playing our game correctly right Be because the corporation took order from the woke and is now apologizing and shaming its customers my god like this level of power this level of strength mm, i wish i had it i wish i could do it it's probably how religious people that were fanatical felt back in the day especially in medieval ages, like you would go and you would shame someone for not being pious enough. And then you see how they weak and cower in front of you. Oh. Um, <clears throat> so apparently Leatherface can wear the faces of one of the four original survivor. However, toxic gamers. Okay, so uh, just so you know, toxic gamers, they still have money. But the company gets to take their money and then give them the middle finger. Isn't that amazing? Don't you feel so great being a customer and having your money taken and then you get the middle? Oh, that is that. Mm. You know, it's uh, one of those fetishes, I guess, where you like being submissive. It's like uh, being called a pay piggy. But now a corporation gets to do it. If you're, if you're into that, uh, buy this game and listen to these developers. They will shame you. They will take your money and they will shame you. Oh, you bad pay piggy, you. You naughty, naughty boy. You naughty, naughty. Why you play the games in such a way? You need to play the games how we tell you to play it. Now give us your money. Buy our DLC. Buy our stuff. So toxic gamers have been using the face of uh, Claudette Morel, a black character, to racially harass and abuse other players. <gasps> The Dead by Day like developer said, members of the community have shared their harrowing experiences 
with people targeting and tormenting. Tormenting. Can you imagine this? No, seriously. Like, imagine you're in your bedroom in front of the computer and someone out there is tormenting you over the internet. Can you understand the pain, the suffering you would experience if someone with a keyboard and an internet connection is tormenting you over the internet? Oh, I am so glad that these developers and their woke allies, sorry, woke bosses managed to put a stop to this atrocity. Oof, tormenting them while using some of these masks. These reports were disheartening to hear. Yes, I, I can imagine how the developers started crying. They broke down. They, they were deconstructed as human beings into an emotional wreck, creating a puddle of tears. And they were clawing at their computer screen and saying, why? Why are people so cruel in our world? Oh, and then they condemned the behavior. They, they looked at the screen with frowny faces and they went, Shame on you, Pay Piggy. Shame on you. How dare you do this? Tormenting others. Oh, Behavior Interactive. Oh my God, I really love the name of the company. In this particular article, it goes, Mwah. Behavior Interactive has taken a strong, powerful, Tsuyoi stance with a Marxist fist pointing towards you with an angry, frowny face in this controversy and stated that the studio is not comfortable it's like a man sitting on a chair with a dildo they feel uncomfortable having these masks in the game when they are used as a tool to spread hate can you imagine like you're playing a video game and you click the mouse and all of a sudden it's hate. Like hate. you know what this company you know behavior interactive they're against hate but do you know what they are for? They are for greed. Greed is what they want you to do. Stop being hateful and be greedy. Give them money to buy DLC. Pay them. Give them cash. Push. Push your wallet into them. Give them all your wealth. Let them seize your assets. Make a bank loan and buy more DLC. Buy so that this company can benefit from greed, not hate. You know, they may be could start an NGO called Greed Not Hate. I, I would endorse that. I would campaign for them. I would be like, yes, Behavior Interactive. Greed Not Hate. So uh, they will be removing the unlockable face mask in the upcoming mid-chapter update and will be taking ongoing steps towards eradicating. Eradicating, like Stalin. Like Stalin eradicated. That's how they're going to do. They're going to be the little dictators on the internet and eradicate, eradicate the hate with love and compassion. While protecting the community from further harassment, like a mama chicken protects her hands. That's, that's how behavior interactive should be looked at. You should, when you look at behavior interactive, you need to look at it like it's your mother, especially if you're a black player, because without them, you would be in danger. You would be tormented. But thanks for Behavior Interactive, you can feel the love and protection emanating just as long as you buy DLC. Right? Like spend money, buy DLC, and you get love, protection. They will eliminate hatred from society. In fact, I, I, I definitely think that when I'm reading this now, there is no more hatred in society because Behavior Interactive has removed it. I genuinely think people should build a statue for this company especially minorities, because they're the ones benefiting the most from this, right? So they, they need to just start building statues of behavior interactive everywhere. And we should have them in public parks. We should have them in universities. We should have them in schools. In fact, in every household, you should have a picture of behavior interactive because they have done so much to improve our culture and eliminate hatred. I was walking down the street yesterday and a man just grabbed my wife's ass. Just, just like that, you know, he grabbed my wife's ass. And I felt no hatred towards him because Behavior Interactive has managed to eliminate hatred from society. I was like, meh, but I didn't feel hatred. And they also indicated that upcoming reworks to grade rewards will be communicated soon. Assuring players that uh, they will be higher than before. The developer updated the details of several add-on enhancements for multiple killers, blah, blah, blah. Yes, um, you know what? I don't have time to play their game now. I'm, in fact, I'm never playing their game again because 
for the first time ever, I can walk outside of my home and I can experience a world without hatred. So now they have created new possibilities, just brand new horizons for me to explore. So I just don't have time to play video games, unfortunately. So, you know, like we're moving away from video games into more serious stuff now. I'm planning more serious things to do than uh, to, to play video games. Because up until now, I was sitting at home, uh, you know, like playing video games because there was hatred outside. And now I understand that uh, if I play video games, I might be tormented by someone else. I don't want that. So it's unfortunate. But what can you do? Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.